Hey everybody, welcome back. So I have a couple new announcements from Scream Factory and an update on specs for uh, one of their most anticipated titles, at least for me, coming next month. So first up, let's get that one out of the way, and that is the specs have been released for their upcoming collector's edition of My Bloody Valentine. So first up, it's going to have both versions of the film, both the theatrical and the uncut version, and they're actually on two separate discs, so they're actually going to be two separate files. So disc one has the theatrical version from a new 4K scan from the original camera negative, and it has a couple new interviews, including one with the director, George Mahalka. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. New interview with actor Paul Kelman. A new interview with actress Lori Hallier. Again, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these right. Interview with actor Neil Affleck. Black, interview with Helene Udi, interview with actor Rob Stein, interview with special makeup effects designer Tom Berman, and finally Holes in the Heart, a look at the difference between the theatrical version and the uncut version, plus the trailer, TV spots, radio spots, and a still gallery. And then disc two will have the uncut version, also from a new 4K scan of the original uncut camera negative, and a new audio commentary with a director. And then I think this is being ported over, if I'm not mistaken, in My Bloody Valentine. 35th anniversary cast reunion panel at the Bay of Blood convention in Florida. And Thomas Kovacs performs the Ballad of Harry Warden at the Bay of Blood convention with Peter Cowper and Jim Murkison. And this set is due out February 11th, so literally a couple days right before Valentine's Day. And then we have a couple new announcements, including some more Hammer films. So first up is The Lost Continent from 1968 and Captain Chrono's Vampire Hunter from 1974. And these were just announced, so obviously extras and details will be announced on the line but captain chronos is set for april 14th and lost continent is set for april 28th and the other announcement is the tarantula film the spider also known as earth versus the spider and that is due out april 21st Again, extras and details will be announced later. Coming up on April 21st is going to be a collector's edition of Curse of the Werewolf. And again, extras and whatnot will be announced later, but that cover, I love that cover. And then finally coming out on April 28th is a collector's special edition of John Carpenter's Escape from L.A. Now, extras and whatnot will be announced later, but they did announce that they are trying to at least secure a new transfer of the film. And I didn't see this posted anywhere, but I'm going to just assume that the infamous director's cut, uh, we will not be seen. It probably won't, because to my knowledge, that director's cut was actually never done. I know there's been talk for a long time about a different version of the film, but I don't think that version was actually ever completed, which means in order for us to see that version, assuming all the film elements still exist, the post-production on Escape from LA would literally have to be done from scratch. And as much as I would like to see that, I mean, you're talking about probably a couple millions of dollars at least, because you're talking about all the post-production having to be done, not just editing, but sound mixing and visual effects and all that kind of stuff. But I am hoping that they do get Kurt Russell involved in this and that we get another commentary track with John Carpenter and Kurt Russell, just like the ones that they did on Escape from New York, The Thing, and Big Trouble in Little China. So those are just some quick announcements. Just wanted to get those out there. I'm super excited for Escape from LA for sure. I already got my pre-order in because I really wanted <laughs> the poster because I actually do love that artwork that they have. So let me know your thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.